इफ यू डोंट लाइक द रोड यू आर वॉकिंग स्टार्ट पेविंग अनदर वन नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल In this video, we will cover major species that were recently in the news, and they are also relevant for UPSC. So, without wasting any time, let's start today's discussion with Chital, and it is in the news because recently, Andaman and Nicobar Islands Administration sought assistance from the Wildlife Institute of India to manage the increasing population of Chital, which is also called spotted deer. And as you can see here, the body color of spotted deer is bright golden brown with white spots spreading from legs to neck. They are social animals and they occur in subtropical grasslands and forest. But highest densities of chital are reported from moist and dry deciduous forest areas. They can be found in India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, and they are native to Indian subcontinent. But chital are hunted for food, sport, and variety of other purposes, and it is globally categorized as least concerned species in the IUCN Red List. Now let's know about Gangetic River Dolphin, and it is in the news because recently India's first center for research on conserving the Gangetic River Dolphin was inaugurated in Patna, Bihar. Talking about Gangetic River Dolphin, it can only live in fresh water and is essentially blind. It finds its way and prey in river waters through eco location. It is one of the four freshwater dolphin species in the world, and other three are found in Yangtze River in China, which is now extinct. The Indus River Dolphin in Pakistan and the Amazon River Dolphin in South America. Gangetic River Dolphin are usually found in turbulent waters where there are enough fish for them to feed on, and they are primarily found in Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers and their tributaries in India. Bangladesh and Nepal talking about the protection status IUCN red list of threatened species classifies Gangetic River dolphin as endangered species and it is included in schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and do you know friends government of india declared Gangetic River dolphin the national aquatic animal in 2009 now let's know about Pelagia noctiluca which is a venomous jellyfish and recently its bloom was reported by marine researchers across Visakhapatnam coast it is also known as the purple striped jellyfish and it has the ability to bioluminescence which means it can produce light in the dark it is found worldwide in tropical and warm temperature seas in january 2024 its bloom was reported in thailand It is rarely seen in the east coast of India, but scores of Pelagia noctiluca were spotted across RK Beach and other parts of the coast. It has a painful sting and causes different degrees of illness and can be life-threatening. It causes varying degree of illness such as diarrhea, extreme pain, vomiting, anaphylactic shock, which is a severe allergic reaction that can develop quickly and can be life-threatening. Now let's know about lavender. and it is in the news because scientific interventions have led to the phenomenal growth of lavender cultivation as you can see they are small evergreen shrubs and their flowers are purple they are native to the land surrounding the mediterranean sea and southern europe through northern and eastern africa and middle east countries to southwest asia and southeast india the variety of lavender is highly suitable for cultivation in the rain fed temperate regions of india and do you know friends the success of lavender cultivation in jammu and kashmir earned it the title purple revolution and in 2016 government launched the aroma mission to boost cultivation of plants like lavender that have aromatic medicinal properties in the last let's attempt today's question which is related to pelagia noctiluca and in this question you have to answer pelagia noctiluca is related to which of the following and your options are neel kurunji flower venomous jellyfish silver line butterfly and large soft shell turtle mark your presence and write your answers in the comment section so with this Let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms.